reason the stream just died um, yeah I don't know this time only the um, the software failed but as I see it's back I have no idea why it disconnected this time the internet didn't turn didn't um, turn off the only problem is that I have not activated record which I probably should have so the upload to to um, to YouTube will be kind of awkward because I have to it stops in the middle of the battle and this one then continues but yeah I think I should in, in future I will have to make sure that I'm not um, that I set it to record as well so I can upload the recording Okay, we need to check here on the Carlo Alberto and those guys need to stick to them. But it's Carlo Alberto has been hit, they are coming in here and they are pretty slow so the torpedo bombers should have it more easy. Okay, you charge in. Please kill that Carlo Alberto. Nice, two torpedo hits. Question is always on what, but yeah, but the DDs haven't done that much damage yet. But yes, this means now that I can basically ignore the fact that it's night. If I find them, I can attack them, and that is a good thing if I find them because I can make line abreast. No, I can even go search light. No, okay, so battleships can only go line abreast, which means I cover more areas. And that is it. So this is that one. There were some battleships up here. Could you please? Okay, don't get hit. You're not supposed to get hit. You're supposed to hit him. Could you please kill it? And could you please? You still have torpedoes. Fire torpedoes. Yeah. That's what I meant. Starboard, okay. Fire. Yes, hit him, hit him. Okay, go up, follow him. What have you found here? There is something here. Okay. You turn around. Question is, where are they? Too bad I can't just order them to open fire on, on unidentified ships. But the point is, I am not. I am like uh, cheating here by knowing where everything is. Obviously, the guy on, on, on board here wouldn't know who is who. Wait, was that the one I, I chased? Or is it one that was already killed? Well, anyways, that one definitely is dead. That one is given hit very nicely as well so we're just trying to take them out well, those torpedoes look like they're going to hit my own god oh, damn it nope okay I can't wait to develop radar so those night battles uh, at least happen on a little more distance because it's here it's, it's so even finding them is so difficult once they get unspotted for just a moment I might never find them again okay you guys all turn would at least be nice if I managed to kill those two that are still crawling around here those two Trying to send out another strike somewhere here. Okay, so apparently 
something with the Gurman is a problem. Okay, yeah, apparently. What was that? Which one? Okay. I have no idea which one. <laughs> Ready? Oh, here are, here are numbers. Okay. No? Yes, good. Okay. I never realized that they actually simulate the amount of torpedoes a ship carries which is obviously a realistic part as the amount of torpedoes were quite limited. That's really nice that they simulate it as well. And I guess I should have expected it, especially as they simulate um, gun, gun ammo even by type. Okay, so that one is slowing down, that another one hit by torpedoes. We turn up here, that one is stopping, perfect. Okay, now let's take that one out as well. But I think that's about it. I have no idea where to find others. Okay, so that one has been hit. Yep, and it's stopping as well. So let's go down to 10 knots with everyone. And the nighttime airstrike, we'll see whether it finds something or not. But I think I have to check on the two battle cruisers up there. But I don't think any one of them was in serious trouble, in serious danger of sinking. Uh, too flooding, okay. So let's probably slow down a little more just to make sure. Unless something very unforeseen happens, that should be another significant victory. Let's just speed up now. always a little frustrating I have no idea where they are but I know that there are some left a number of battleships but hardly anything wait spots an unknown ship this yeah 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 it's one of the wrecks okay yeah and they with their airstrikes they probably just find some some more wrecks and just strike them but yeah, who cares? Okay, you, the carriers need to obviously run away as well, move away. I don't want them to stumble into enemy battleships at night. Too many hits. So that, that, those are hits on the ship that is already sinking. I guess these airstrikes, I should have probably sent them closer to here somewhere. as ships that are still in working order will likely flee to the ports. Yeah, here is there like, uh, whatever. But oh, they are still here, so I don't know if that would be a uh, genuine sighting, they would strike it because they circle around as they obviously don't find a target to strike. Okay, now let's just wait for the time to pass because I think that battle is basically over. Okay. And I need to send the slow battleships away. They are perfectly suited to keep the French at bay in Northern Europe. Torpedoed, okay. And it's, no, it's not sunk, it survived. Okay, so they have five of their battle cruisers survived. But I sunk one battleship and five more battle cruisers without any loss. Another insanely 
significant victory. And yes, as I said, I should have sent them here. Here they are. An airstrike here might have might have done some more damage, but whatever. Thirty one thousand to six thousand victory points. Another very significant victory. Okay, first send those guys way away. Because I now need even less planes, even less ships, as the Italians are further weakened. Um, safe. Libya is being invaded. I don't think there's much else to do. Uh, your raiding trade protection. Yeah, I think it's okay. Let's just continue. Mm -hmm. Ah, damn it. France has demonstrations. Okay. Weight saving. MTBs. Blockade. Yeah, small things. Okay, now I get problems because they are sinking so many freighters. And one carrier has been hit but survives. Good. Italian, yeah, the first ones are getting interned. Thing is, they they sink so many freighters that I get problems, and unrest will go up. Fleet battle, but I guess they'll decline. Yep, they do, which gives me two thousand four hundred victory points for free. They should decline as well. No, they don't. Okay. Okay. Those are fast battleships, so you guys speed up. Oh, and the French are kind enough to allow me to sink more of their capital, sh capital ships. That's quite a nice thing. Doing cap. Let's see. Uh, 816. Good, good armament. Mm, decent armor, but not too impressive. Mm, old armament, bad armor. Okay. And those two are, should be, yeah, it's even the modern class. The only issue with this, with the first one, is the crew training. And that one should be perfectly fine. Handling them. But they don't hit so far. No, they do. Okay, you guys just chase them. Don't let them get away. How fast are they? Probably faster. 27 knots, okay. So as fast as mine, I think. And it even becomes daylight. So I should be able to take them out fairly easily, I think. If they don't get away, which apparently somehow they seem faster than mine, which is weird. It looked like they increased distance. Definitely change speed. They, um, the distance gets bigger. Okay, for whatever reason they split up. I don't care too much. Okay. Ah, there is some. Oh, a carrier. That would be uncomfortable. Like carrier, though, doesn't have too many strike plans, so it shouldn't be too dangerous. Okay, so the Marseille is, is being whittled down. It's that old one, if I remember correctly. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. Okay, that might have been a torpedo launch. So let's move away a little. There's a circle. Looks like it. Yeah, I think I don't. Yeah, he's. I wanted to say I probably don't have to turn away because the very moment um, I pass him he'll be hit so hard that I, uh, there's no need to, to shoot him more. And it's, okay, so how fast is the Dunkerque? 29 knots. But he should be slowed down by now. He has been hit significantly. Okay, alive, no. Is that the Dunkerque? Yes, it is. Okay, yeah, aircraft carriers. Would be a 
bad trade if I lose one of those here. For those, this, these old crabs. But on the other hand, I mean, it's war and you're supposed to, to use your ships and uh, you have to accept losses at some point. What are those here? Okay, destroy them here. Now they're all wasting their torpedoes. Take out the Dune Camp, that would be nice. You need to hit her for that. Marseille, Marseille, always just Marseille. Yeah. And more torpedo hits. Dune Camp is being hit good. Now please slow him down if you don't mind. They are definitely gaining on him. How fast is he? 20 knots. Okay. Heavy damage. So he shouldn't be for much longer as well. Which means the French are being reduced even more. I almost feel pity for them. It's like if there's a crushing defeat in the end, there won't be even a ship to claim anymore. Should probably decline battle with the French from now on. If I want them, if I want to get a ship from them in the end, because um, like even that Marseille one would probably only be good for the, the scrap, uh, for the scrap metal dealer, uh, dealer, as it's just too old. That one would have been useful to some degree. Okay, now take him out, if you don't mind. Yep, that's it. Perfect. Okay, you go down to 20 knots. And you join with him. Perfect. Okay, 20 knots all. And I hope my anger is far enough. I have no clue where those guys are the carriers and whether I can hunt him down. So I'll just plan to ignore him, basically. And hope that my armor and AA is strong enough. Then in the end I will have sunk two more French capital ships out of four remaining. Okay. I don't think the AA is too strong. Um, they might not even have di AA directors yet. So there's just a guy with a stick pointing where to shoot at. And only light AA. Uh, well, I have heavy AA, obviously. I have dual purpose guns on them. But um, no medium AA. I mean, it's only 33, 34. So you can't expect them to be too strong in this phase. 34, yeah. We have February 34. But the thing is, um, if that was true that it was a light carrier and the French have four light carriers, okay, but no heavy carriers. That means that the capacity of, on pla of planes on those ships are very limited. 34 maximum. Oh, nice. And one of them was torpedoed, but unfortunately he didn't sink. So two battle cruisers down, perfect. Major victory. And another two prestige, another um, heavy hit on them and we get the Scharnhorst is ready okay so we start one that allows us to scrap that one and we rename this one to Gerhard Johann David. Perfect. Now let's build the Ruprecht von Bayern. Ah, of course. Okay, so scrap. Bayern and 
Does it have it here? Yes, I can copy that one, I hope. Scrap and build. Nice and all perfect. And let's build a graph von Zeppelin and a Peter Strasse. Five. Uh, let's build a sixth one. Mm. Whom could we name it after? Nicolas Graf Palfi von Erdöd. He was a marshal of the Imperial Army in the 18th century. Um, so when Germany was still united in the First Empire. And he fought um, together with Prince Eugen against the Turks. So let's do that one. Six of them now and I'll have to think I uh, the other budget will be saved and then used for upgrades and stuff. I think that's more needed. I would need new battle cruisers I think. But um yeah, it doesn't seem to be too urgent. Those ones, this is like another tempting thing. I could change the machinery, which is still coal fired. Make them fast, like 30 knots. Replace the barrels. But it would be 120 million for a ship with, and it would take 17 months, but 100 months isn't that important. It would take 120 million for a 13 inch with um, 3 inch deck and 11 inch belt which is okay-ish for a battle cruiser but 120 million now let's look at this here that one is 170 and that one is obviously significantly better that is kind of crazy so those ships um, will either be scrapped or I don't know be used for this m mission. I could probably rebuild them now, give them better directors, increase elevation and do something with the AA. But that's about it. That seems to be all that's worth doing with them. If at all. What is that supposed to mean? Three times in a row. Okay. Wilhelm the second. No, Wilhelm the third. Friedrich the third. God damn it. Okay, but he survived. That's important. The rest I don't care that much. So they gain more points. French radar, that's auto resolve. Perfect, has been sunk. Which one is the Emden, by the way? Where is it? There. Okay, that's a pretty decent design. No wonder he managed to sink it. Okay, now we're down to 3.8 million. French is going crazy, the French. And the Italians are not happy either thing is I will only have 10 points from what I understand no matter what I do so I can get back Libya and and um, Sardinia I guess but not more large okay let's try that air attack okay that will be a big battle have I sent the no I forgot to send one of those guys back right yeah I think so there will be one of the old crappy ships still here oh, well these ones aren't okay that's good only three no ah yeah one carrier was damaged and wh whom are you following five support battle okay so he's separate again ah never mind I don't care I like to have them all in one group ex and not not have them follow but yeah, it could be worse. Okay, let's battle cruiser division eighteen. We could have those guys follow them, I think. Yes. And that way all my ships are together. 
and I do what the British, what was done in World War One, and what was supposed to be not this good to put the battle cruisers into the ma the main line. But if we see the armor of them, their armor is so strong that doesn't uh, matter that much. So I can have them all work together. Okay, you guys are doing what exactly? Okay, launching spotter planes, I guess. Um, for some recon. Okay. Um, why exactly are those battleships going north? What the core? Who is who else is following that? Why did it turn to independent? God damn it! And again independent and I don't even get the message anymore in the past. There was a message Okay, I guess for some more reason they refuse to follow them So I guess we just order the battle cruisers to follow division 15. That seems to be the best solution solution for that Hope that at least works You guys can go up to 20 knots Battle cruisers, those okay. Okay, so they have the first sighting so far, only transport ships. Um, the carriers, carriers are actually ahead right now. Okay, <laughs> it's kind of funny. No. They really want to be effective. I should worry about that, but I think the visibility is more than enough. What is it? 22,000, 22, yeah. Okay. okay, so air attack on the carriers. Friendly shoots down, okay, no hits. And the my covered air patrol shoots some of them down. Okay, so what did we see here? Transports again just transports questions where are his heavy ships I wouldn't have all those battleships if there weren't some of his some of his battleships in the world. give me those big guys to shoot down air combat what does it say nice well done Yeah, the thing is that I don't, I haven't even spotted anything that seems to be worth launching an airstrike against. Those are two single ships, so what is it? Yeah, freighters and maybe a corvette or something like that. Let's go full speed to make sure. The other thing is, I, what I almost have forgotten, is that there will be a lot of minefields around here. Which might be tricky. Um yeah let's let's just kill two of those to fulfill my mission and then retreat. I don't see a point in risking too much by going into the minefields. Can you guys kill some of them please? Yep, that one is down. Kill that one now. That one is down as well. What is this here? A DD. Seems a little slow for a DD though. Oh, okay. And I'm getting greedy again. Instead of retreating, I'm going in. Yes, you can pick them up and now you retreat. And I launch an airstrike in that direction. Whatever is here, whatever comes here might be killed by those torpedo bombers if I'm lucky launch launch okay time to go home down to 20 knots go 
perfect mission record. And I don't really care about a destroyer or two. Unless I find capital ships of his, there doesn't seem a point in trying to kill some more. Um, yeah, I think probably the airfield has anti-aircraft, but I don't know. M might not have, I have no clue, idea. But if he has an airfield, an airfield I built for fuck's sake, but <laughs> yeah, the airfield, um, so there will be fighters. And that is more the um, air defense in this regard, I guess. Uh, yep. Please turn north because you shouldn't suppose you're not supposed to charge in there and then maybe I don't know. Uh, whom are they attacking? They don't even hit, which is really weird. And they should be able to ah uh, probably they be destroyers. They are really fast and nimble and very agile, so they it makes sense that they are not hitting them. Yeah, it's only the despotted one light cruiser. But what I would really appreciate would be an invasion. If I were able to reconquer my lost territory. Because I might have deleted two fleets, almost deleted them. But I still have lost territory. And that is not to my liking. Okay. It's, it's still only DDs, so yeah, nothing to worry about. And you are going, you can go down to cruise speed. And no more airstrikes from my side. And that was a bad time not watching another one. Not against DDs, that's just a waste of my time. As every time they get, ooh, what is this? Oh, another freighter, okay. But could, could you like, um, what is there, you here? You are going to charge in and kill that guy, because if we're already around here, why not kill it? Which details didn't you recognize? What do you mean? Um, okay. So let's speed up now. Ah, yeah. Airfields, obviously, in the beginning, there aren't any airfields. So you have to add them. And when you build them, they are visible. Because I think they can be bombarded. Yeah, they can be bombarded by ships as well. And um, I don't. you probably can't destroy them. Um, you can only like deactivate them for the rest of the battle, which obviously would already be quite um, some help if the enemy, if the airfield is big and um, planes are a big issue. But yeah, um, I have no idea why I, I had all the battleships here and carriers, because if he had some capital ships, they were nowhere close. Maybe somewhere around Tobruk. I have no idea. Interestingly enough, it still doesn't cancel the battle because the ships are too, too far apart. But we'll see in a moment when the time run, runs out where they have been. No. Damn it. Wilhelm II. It's always Wilhelm II. He survives. Good. So there have been four battle cruisers. Where have they been? Destroyer division? More destroyers?
more destroyers? Here, yeah. Okay, I already said they might have been around Tobruk. I should have probably sent my fleet east. But that was a wild guess. And they were coming from the west. So at some point they were some decently close. Anyways, still a victory. I haven't lost anything. Um, could have been better. Four battle cruisers would have been half their fleet. But I'm so I have so much superiority. It doesn't even matter anymore to me. Um, okay, another thing before. Wait, what am I doing? Um, I want that one. They are all northern Europe. Okay, good. Yes. Okay. Um, how about those? He's still repairing. What about the base? Mediterranean. He's that's still building. Okay. Libya is still invasion going, so in the end we've crushed more Italian ships. We've not been able to conquer anything back and not even the first invasion has started. And they are already blockaded both and riots in both, I think. So the war might end before I get it back, which would be kind of disappointing. Because I think if then again, if it depends on which nation collapse first, and I will have only 10 points for that nation. So if it's the French, I could probably get those two. And maybe somewhere else something. But that's about it. I wouldn't get anything from the Italians. So, yeah, not much I can do now. In 22 years, we'll have six new aircraft carriers. Overall, I think um, quite successful turn. Quite successful... Um, um, it went it went fine so far we are up to 83 prestige now that's also very nice but not that eventful i think i'm gonna stop it here though so i apologize again for the uh the cut in between unfortunately obs decided to disconnect i will have to find a solution for that i mean i could just start recording so far it has never been a problem that the OBS itself broke down, so that would solve this issue. I'll, I will do that from now on. Yeah, I'll just start recording. Um, I hope you liked it anyways. Um, if you did so, please consider following and subscribing. You can find me on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Inclutus. Um, that is where I stream all those episodes. And um, I hope you enjoyed it and see you later. See you next time.